at one point even a firefighter got a, a sandwich and a soda and I was getting ready to pack my equipment. I thought, you know, it's time for me to go. Stop operations in about 10 minutes. Then an ominous rumble in the ground signals trouble in the air. I looked up and I said, oh my God. A Texas-sized explosion detonates in the desert. 210,000 gallons of crude has erupted into an 1,800 degree fireball that has people running for their lives. It was like a nuclear bomb had went off. In my mind, I was fixed to be burned alive. David keeps his camera rolling, even as he runs for his life. I thought, this is it. Better turn the camera backwards and run as fast as I can. In the midst of the madness, David radios his editor back at the TV station. Smitty, I think you up. We're gonna burn big I had blisters the size of lemons on my arm and on my head, and I needed to be treated pretty quick. But at the same time, I looked back and I saw how worse those other people were. People were walking around putting water and ice everywhere. What happened is called a boil-over explosion. Why it happened is a bit more complicated. Water is not your friend in a crude oil tank fire. Fire protection specialist Gordon Lohmeyer is an expert on oil fires. When your crude oil is on fire, it heats up the tank. A heat wave travels to the bottom of the tank one foot per hour until it reaches the water layer. It actually converts the water from a liquid phase to a steam phase. It expands 1,700 times to one. And that's enough to set off this. Look closely, and you can actually see the steam expanding into flames. Once the temperature reaches 212 degrees, it's only a matter of time before the steam ignites an explosion. Obviously, you need water to put out a fire. So how could this have been avoided? Every gallon of water that you put into that tank needs to be drained out. Most likely, this wouldn't have happened if a water release valve at the bottom of the tank had been fully opened. It eventually catches up with you when you, when you put enough water on that tank. And when it comes to fighting oil fires, the clock is ticking. The longer the fire rages, the hotter the, it gets and the lower the heat wave goes in the tank, thus setting you up for potential boil over. When the explosion Inferno, and many of the scars remain today, both physically and emotionally. I've co covered many fires, but to be part of the story, that was the first, and I don't ever want to go through that again.